friends, welcome to dialandroid.com. Today I'm going to show you the OTG functionality in Samsung Galaxy S2. With OTG feature, you can connect so many USB devices. Today we'll show how to connect a keyboard and mouse with S2 and their shortcuts. First, you need to get this hardware. This is a OTG adapter which you can get from eBay in just four dollars. It's not a big deal. After that, once you connect this, you can see this mouse cursor and the keyboard. I have used a keyboard which is already having a two port USB for connecting the mouse. You can use a powered hub or any other device to connect multiple devices. So first see the mouse functionalities. When you connect the mouse, you will see this cursor on your home screen like you see in your laptop or desktop. The same functions, when you press the left button, it will be a kind of OK button and the right button will be the back button and you can scroll the, using the mouse scroller as you, you can use this uh, left button to drag and drop between the screens and all so this mouse functions are very easy now come to the keyboard keyboard has a few limited functions first thing is whenever you type anything it will automatically go to the google search menu okay and after that let's see the f1 and f10 functionality F1 button is same as the left touch button and F10 is also the same. You can use it anywhere whether you are in a messaging or in any other application. After that F3 will open the last call records okay. and then the same keyboard up and down scroll keys will be used as usual. Enter key will be as usual the select button, click button okay. and this home button if you press twice it will go to the voice command menu. You can see it. I have not configured it. Okay, and uh, F4 and N will give you the power button functionality. Both are the same. The same power button functions. If you keep on pressing N, it will show you this phone option and it, it will lock you, lock your phone. Now to unlock the phone, what you need to do is you have you have to go to the voice command menu by pressing the home button two times, and then if you want to use the voice command feature, you can use it. Otherwise, you can just put on escape to go to the main menu. Apart from these, you have you press any button, it will go to the Google search and you can simply use this function to type your message or work on any PowerPoint presentation and all. Like if you write, want to write a message, you can just use the keyboard and mouse functionality together just like you use in your desktop. So that's a good function. and. In the last, I'll show you how to restart your phone. It's very easy. You need to use left buttons, left control L, and when you press the Dell, the phone will restart. So this is all. Thanks for watching, guys.